Hey, what's up guys? So today I got another 3D printer up front unboxing and review. So this is the Alpha Wise U20. It's basically like a CR10 clone, but that's got an LCD touch screen, all these cool powder coated parts, and a laser filament sensor. So really, really cool. So check out the unboxing, and then we'll put the, show you how I put the thing together, show you guys some test prints, and let's do the review. So here we go. Once again, I'm totally new to HealthWise, so I don't know anything about this company, but let's do it. Okay, so here we go up to the box. Boom, boom, boom. Like most printers, we're greeted with this uh, styrofoam. Hopefully I opened the right size at the top. Okay, so, all right, yeah, so it's in like, Two separate parts here. Okay, so here, I'll get to that in a second. Let's get the rest of this out of the box. Um, okay, so here is the bed assembly. Ooh, and it's got like some build tack type material on it. Uh, it's a glass bed, and then it's got like a build tack type thing on there. So let's get that box out of the way. Um, okay. Packed very nice. Uh, so far, so good. In this box, we got our US power, power cord, a uh, small roll of blue filament, CLA. This is supposed to be able to do ABS and everything, um, like basically all materials. So it's really cool. The CR10, if you don't know, you can't really get the bed above 60 degrees Celsius, 70, 70, 60. Uh, actually, unless you like use a heat gun to heat, up, heat it up. Um, here's parts of the spool holder. Okay. We got uh, flexible, very flexible, nice, act, really nice print removal tool. Uh, connected to the printer and the computer if you need to. Uh, zip block, zip cords. Uh, wrenches, it looks like this has eccentric nuts. Yes, just like the CR10, so this is actually like just everything. So it looks like this will only take a couple minutes to put together. We got, you know, this. Uh, we got. Uh, USB card reader and uh, SD card. We got the brackets to mount it to the side. I think this is a part of this pool holder, but I don't know. And Allen wrenches and a couple spare screws here in the bottom of this box as well. Okay. okay so then we got. Okay, so the power box is it, our power. What how do we call it? The control box or whatever is very similar to. Very similar to a uh, CR10. Uh, you always want to make sure you turn this to 110 if you're in the USA. Or is it on 110? Oh, I need a smaller one. Because okay, this one is on 220, it looks like. I'm going to need a flathead screwdriver. So make sure you put that, if you're in the USA, on 110. That looks really nice. Okay, and then here we got our gantry. Yep, it is just like a CR10. Looks very similar. I really, kind of really like. I have to try it, but this extruder looks quite nice. I like how they shortened the Bowden tube already. It is only one lead screw, so same as like the Tivo Tornado or the standard CR10. Um, but overall, it looks really, really nice actually. So it'll probably only take a couple minutes to put this together. So let's time lapse that part of the video, but. Overall, first things first, it, it looks it looks nice. I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So let's do it. Okay, guys, I got it all put together. It took me about 15 minutes. Sorry, I'm freehanding this, so it might be a little shaky because I want to go through and show you things on the printer, things I like, things that I'm kind of like, kind of awkward. And um, yeah, we'll go from that. Let me just show you the overall printer, things I noticed putting it together. So first off, I'm really liking the bed. Um, this feels very similar to like the TiVo Tornado build tack, except it's, it's a little softer. And yeah, we'll have to check that out. But you notice this is a glass bed. It's held on with binder clips, but it is a glass bed. I'm gonna definitely want to print some bigger knobs because I hate these little knobs. The springs look nice. They're like those nice thick springs like on the CR10. 
and the the bed all has eccentric nuts so I tightened everything up everything is really solid I didn't have to adjust any eccentric nuts there or anything just just there okay now one thing that's awesome about this is it is all touchscreen so let me hit the power button right here and alpha wise and yeah so you can like you know home it and everything touch screen so let's home the X and the Y My first time doing this hopefully nothing's in the way okay we're good and then home the Z come on it was already homed but <laughs> um, yeah really cool this is 3d printed the fan duct here as well as this part here but there's no other real 3d printed parts on here that I am noticing um, other things I really like is this filament sensor is actually like a laser sensor I believe it's not just your standard like end stop clip one um, this extruder feels quite nice um, but one thing I, I don't know anything about this alpha wise company but I have a feeling they're tr they're made by Troxy because or at least I don't know they have something to do with them here, let me turn off the printer so I can safely move the bed. Okay, okay, so you'll notice right here it says Troxy Motor. On all of the motors, it says Troxy Motor. So I don't know, this is definitely just looking off, looking at it first impressions, definitely nicer than any Troxy product I've had. So I don't know if this is like Troxy trying to be a higher end. Also, to all of this, this is all powder coated, like all this metal. It's powder coated. I mean, that's really nice. Um, you don't see that all the time. It's really cool. I really like that. Um, here, the directions are all on the SD card. And uh, this is kind of funny. Check this out. Like, it's, you know, like most of these things, the English is pretty horrible for like machine commissioning. Um, and this is hilarious. Reading instructions. So I was thinking this was going to be instructions on how to read. <laughs> but uh, no, it's like safety precautions, all that garbage. Um, all the instructions to put it together are here, but it was extremely simple, almost self-explanatory, but they do a, they actually do a really good job here, besides some of the broken English. Um, but yeah, it's good good instructions, nice pictures, and everything. Okay, scroll down a bit, you know, machine assembly, blah, blah, blah. They take you through every step. Uh, once again, it's very, very easy. So I'm going to pop this card back in here, and we'll see what test prints come on here, but just right out of the box, the fact that this is on sale right now for $169, it retails for $330, but knowing Gearbest, you're, it's probably going to be on sale. Like, you know, it, you're never going to see it for $330. It's always going to have some type of sale. But the sale going on right now with the link in the description is $169. So that is just mind boggling. So that, this is definitely, as long as it prints and prints, you know, as good as it looks, this should be a really good printer with a touch screen, CR10 sized, you know, glass bed. Supposedly can print ABS. We'll have to test that out. But yeah, so let's start out with this cheap PLA it came with. Let's see what's on the SD card. Uh, we'll do a couple prints on that. Um, I'll fire up maybe some wood filament or some ABS and let's have some fun.
Okay guys, so since I've been having such good success with the PLA, uh, it was time to try some Hatchbox ABS. So I'm just printing a Benchy here, and it's so far coming out really good. I'll show you guys when it's done. But other than a little bit of over extrusion, it's coming out really good so far. Okay guys, so here is the final Benchy. It actually came out really nice. Um, yeah, I decided to take all this stuff outside so you can see it a little better. But, yeah. This printer, uh, I'm quite impressed with it. With very minimal setting tweaks. I've been able to get pretty good, pretty good prints right out of the box. Okay guys, so I've had the Alphawise U20 now for four days. And I've had enough time to really play with it and put it through its paces. Now, I've printed all different materials with this. I printed PLA, I printed wood filament, and I've also printed ABS. I was able to do everything right out of the box stock. The bed, I was only able to get it to 80 degrees Celsius, but that was hot enough to do ABS. But I just love how it's got the laser filament sensor. I love how everything is, you know, metal. It's really high quality. This, uh, this seems, it's definitely nicer than like the ANET E12, which is also a, kind of like a CR10 clone. Um, I think it's right up there with the T4 Tornado. It's a little bit nicer in some ways, like with the LCD touchscreen. I mean, it's 2018. That's something all printers should have. And this is one of the only printers I own that has a touchscreen. The glass bed works great. This build tech so far is working fine. But I imagine you could just pull this off um, and use some acetone. And then you'd have a nice piece of glass you could use there. Or take it off and put a mirror, mirror tile. But, yeah, I'm absolutely loving everything about this. I ditched the regular... Um, spool holder and I just went with the t Tornado printable one and uh, it's just easier I like it and you can clip it on the top if you want or where really wherever but yeah this printer it retails for $299 um, but tomorrow for the first two people that order it on Gearbest you can get this for only $169 so it's like the craziest deal ever so if you're thinking about this printer um, on June 15th the first two people um, I don't know if they're gonna do another promotion like that but Gearbest is doing these promotions and um, yeah, the regular price is $2.99, which is still really good. Way cheaper than a regular CR10 by like 60, 70 bucks. And you know, it's just really nice. I love how everything's powder coated. I like the extruder a lot. I'm a big fan of that. Um, I like how there's eccentric nuts on everything. Um, once again, I like, I love the LCD. It's 24 volt system, heats up fairly quickly. Um, there's not really anything I've found that I haven't liked about it yet. So I, I'm actually really liking this. So the Alphawise U20, this definitely is getting the thumbs up for me. Um, I can't really say a bad thing about it. The wire management, everything, everything's nice. So thank you guys for watching. If any questions about this, uh, hit me up in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I'll put the links and everything. Thanks for Gearbest for sending me this. I'm going to go plug it back in, get back to printing with it. But yeah, just being able to print all different materials and do it good right out of the box. This is a kind of like a dummy proof printer. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.